so uh, I have done something and something happened this week that never happened before in my life and in my career and in my routine. All right. Okay. This was the first time ever, ever it happened. And, I, and uh, it, is, it, is, it shows us where we are in the country and it shows us the way things have changed. And I said, fuck it. Why not? Why do I have to do that? Why can't I turn the tables and get it done there? So, no, I don't think you should tell us anymore. And yeah. we'll just move on <laughs> to the next should, segment. We should just work that out. <laughs> so <laughs> every, going, every I, week, Hector just comes down with this. <laughs> inspirational thought. This, this just is random, <laughs> non, non-specific information. Well, now something happened to me last Friday, and it wasn't Thursday, and I was there, and I turned around, and I said, that'll never happen again. No, no. <laughs> and that's I all for me. That oh. That's like phoning people up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Hello. And I'll tell you another thing. If John Foley thinks, <laughs> you can say that to my I, wife, and, I, okay. and moonwalk out of the jacks. <laughs> <laughs> Naked. I am... Um, no, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll explain it better. I think so. I, <laughs> Geographically <laughs> no, in the country or like... No, no, so I decided. Well, I didn't decide. I'd heard of this service that was available. I'm still lost. Are you going to read it? I'm <laughs> so I don't know if I you should decided, start at the beginning or... I decided not to go into town for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you would not have put that together. Honestly. I don't you know what I did. I got a mobile person to come to my house to cut me hair. <laughs> now, now. You're, now you're all now. now have I got your attention yes. a mobile barber is Jesus, this or a, the heat again in here I've, I've a velvet this, and by the way this is me velvet velour I, I think not worn the, this this is a velvet yeah. a juicy Carhartt. couture since 1987 <laughs> in my wardrobe I have so many retro bits I'm going to start wearing them again so I said fuck it I put it on it's too hot now I rang Siobhan <laughs> And I said, Siobhan, I hear you've left the job. And she said, yeah. She said, I'm now mobile. I come to people's houses and I'll cut your hair. And I said, wow. I said, Siobhan, when? She goes, Thursday morning, 11 o'clock. I got my hair cut by a mobile hairdresser. And did she come with, was she COVID concerned? Yes. So... What did she? What was she, she had wearing? a mask and Very all. Very responsible of you to ask that. Tommy. She had well, a, I'm just. I'm not no, getting visual a because she's gone around different houses. Yeah. So she arrived, took out the suitcase, the mobile suitcase at the at the back of the car <laughs> with all the stuff in it. All right, hang on, would all suitcases not be mobile? <laughs> I was just going to say that. This is a, this a is mobile this. suitcase, but did it have wheels? They're all. They're all. <laughs> all suitcases are mobile, actor. If it's not mobile, it's a wardrobe. The reason why you <laughs> or, a, or a chest, <laughs> chest of drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're from Mayo. Sorry, You're she's from Mayo and you're arriving in this. <laughs> <laughs> Did she come in a mobile car as well? Or <laughs> this is coming from somebody from fucking not more. A... <laughs> this is priceless now. Uh, Into a uh, luggage shop. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to be doing a bit of travelling now. But I'm, no, I don't want an ordinary suitcase. I want a mobile one. One, you, one you can take from place to place. She arrived, right? <laughs> <laughs> she, she arrived. A mobile suitcase. <laughs> Please continue. As I, she took it out of the car and it had wheels on it, right? right well. So she ferried up to the door. Uh, she had a mask on and I ushered her into the kitchen where I had specially prepared an area where I went out to the garage and took down this old 17th century mirror that I had when I was in my hippie days. <laughs> <laughs> I clonked it up on top behind the fruit basket and I had my little area there, my little stool. And in came Siobhan, uh, mobile, uh, cut by Siobhan it's called, and Siobhan, who's been cutting me hair for a while uh, in a place in town, cut my hair and it was great. She wore the mask, I put on some music, she's great fun, she's Manchester Irish and it was brilliant. And 30 minutes later, toodaloo, bye-bye. And I didn't have to go into town for it. I didn't have to find parking. And that is the world we live in. I got a mobile haircut. Wow. wow. So I have the number. <laughs> Cuts by Siobhan. Mobile hair. Mm. Well, and she's in she's your area, Tommy. In, she's mobile, you see. She's, she's mobile, in your Tommy. area, she's Tommy. Lot, <laughs> she's not stuck to the one place. She's almost nationwide. <laughs> but she said, she said, this is it. I have to make this step and I have to do this. Uh, and they have a young girl. She's four or five. And she just started Neenra. 
And she said, I'm doing this now and this is the way that it is. I'm, I'm going around and if I can go around to a couple of clients every day, I'm doing it. Isn't that way? Isn't yeah, I, I saw, I was walking past a house the other day and I saw outside a van parked for mobile uh, dog washing services mm. and the van was sitting outside. Maybe Siobhan should get a highest van and turn it into a barber shop. Turn the back of it into yeah. a little, with a little chair and a little wow. mirror and a little sink. Yeah. Wow. I think that would be a better idea. And That's then not, do you know what? There was something really nice that I was still at home and somebody went and 20 minutes later I had my hair done and they're gone. Yeah. Mighty.